Merry Christmas, Calvary. It's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day on this beautiful Christmas morning. And, uh, and I hope that you had a blessed Christmas Eve. We had a great day worshiping uh, our Lord and celebrating his birth. And, and uh, I would just remind you that uh, tomorrow and Sunday we're not having on-site services at our Havasu campuses. Everything's online, regular times, uh, 5 Saturday, 8, 9, 30, and 11 on Sunday. But we don't want you to show up to a building that's locked and not ready for you to come and worship. We want you to worship with us online. Uh, hey, it's Christmas Day, and, uh, and we're celebrating the birth of Jesus. But I get to share with you the, the final uh, word of the day from the Gospel of Mark. And it's looking at the resurrection of Jesus. And, and what, that, that's beautiful symmetry as far as I'm concerned. And I, I want you to hear this account, this event that changed all of our lives forever. Mark chapter 16 says, When the Sabbath was passed, so they buried Jesus on Friday afternoon. The sun went down. It was the Sabbath. Uh, Saturday night, the Sabbath ended. They spent the night waiting. Early Sunday morning, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so they might go and anoint the body of Jesus. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb and they were saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a white robe, and they were alarmed. And, and he said to them, do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him? But go now and tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. And they went out and fled from the tomb, for trembling and astonishment had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. I'm going to pause right there. Uh, the story continues in Mark, uh, but, but we know it at that point. But the, here's what I want you to, to hear this morning. You know, it's Christmas morning. You probably opened some gifts. Uh, you, you've been sharing this with your loved ones, either by, uh, you know, in person or on FaceTime or, you know, through the phone. And, and you've been talking and, and laughing and playing and maybe crying because you can't be there and hug somebody. Maybe it's your first Christmas uh, alone because uh, your spouse passed away or you moved away from family. Here's what I want you to hear. While it's the day where we celebrate the birth of Jesus, it is the resurrection of Jesus from the dead that changed everything. Because we follow a risen Lord. Our, our King of kings and Lord of lords who gave his life to, to purchase us from hell was raised from the dead so that we could know that we have that promise of eternal life. And by the way, Jesus being raised from the dead is why we are followers of Jesus. Uh, the fact that Jesus is alive and he's our Savior, if you've committed your life to following Jesus, you know he's alive. You know he's with you. You know that, that he holds your life in his hands and he guarantees heaven, and that's the assurance that we have, the hope that is not seen but is felt and known to be true. And you want your friends and family to believe in Jesus? Can I, can I just tell you? tell you, point them to Jesus, the risen Lord. Because this is the difference that it made. You, you think about the resurrection and the, the impact of it. Eleven men who had run away and denied knowing Jesus suddenly became uh, energetic, courageous followers of Jesus. Their lives were radically changed by the resurrection from the dead. In fact, thousands of people who knew of this event became followers of Jesus just a few days later. It's called Pentecost, Acts chapter 1. And, and, and they trusted because they had known he was dead and now he's alive. Eyewitnesses attested to it. Eyewitnesses who would suffer to the point of torture and death and not deny. For thousands of years, people have trusted Jesus, followed Jesus, and he has changed their lives. And, and so I just want to encourage you today 
when you celebrate his birth, realize that this isn't just a sweet story. It is a story of life change that culminates in victory over sin and death and hell. And the greatest gift ever given to us was Jesus. And so I pray that that blesses you, fills you with hope and expectation because the same God who defeated sin and death and hell through the resurrection of Jesus is the God who is on this throne as we step in to a new year and a new day. So God bless Calvary. And again, Merry Christmas.